Welcome back everyone to Let's Review as we continue on with the review on the latest and greatest of entertainment, meaning uh, today we are going to be reviewing a recently released television program. So the plan here is to discuss an overview of the road so far in regards to who creates the show and who's in it. Then we'll move on to the actual review of the program, meaning what I felt about it and how I thought it was. And at last we'll conclude with the wrap up before we go, meaning a general summary of everything we've discussed. And on rare occasions, you may get a discussion point on themes that were presented in the show or predictions for what could happen in the show afterwards. Now, let's review. So let us begin with the overview and the road so far in regards to the television series we'll be discussing. Watchmen is an American superhero drama television series that continues the 1987 DC comic series Watchmen created by Alan Moore and Dave Gibbons. The TV series was created by Damon Lindelof for HBO with Lindelof as executive producer and head writer. Its ensemble cast includes Regina King, Don Johnson, Tim Blake Nelson, Yaya Abdul-Mateen II, Andrew Howard, Jacob Ming, Trend, Tom Misson, Sarah Vickers, Dylan Scombing, Louis Gossett Jr., Jeremy Irons, Gene Smart, and Hong Chow. The series focuses on events surrounding racist violence in Tulsa, Oklahoma in 2019. Moving along with the review of the program. My review of the program is that the writing was strong, the storytelling was innovative, the themes were potent with marvelous acting to match, with characters being so unique and resonant. I'd like to highlight the cast, particularly Regina King, who absolutely kills it with her performance as Night Sister. Her subtlety shine throughout the entire series. Jeremy Irons is also a show stealer, while the work of Gene Smart and Tim Blake Nelson also captured me in good spirits throughout the show as well as Yahya Abdul-Mateen, who owns it in the role he portrays without giving away any spoilers. The stories were hard to watch at times, but well-spoken in execution. The score accented the scenes superbly while, while the visual effects were also well done, and surprising to look at at times. Squid seen anybody? And overall, it was a fun watch. So now we are going to be moving on to the wrap-up before we go on this TV series. So to wrap it up before we go, the story had a lot on its shoulders and never wavered in toning down its messages. The louder moments shined bright and the subtle ones shined even brighter. This new twist on the classic comic really made for an interesting program that is sure to not be forgotten. So moving on to the themes that matter, this is the segment where I discuss some themes and messages that I felt the medium was trying to portray as best I can in my own interpretation. There were many themes in the show that even with all the time in the world, I still wouldn't be able to cover all of it here. But personally for me, the most resonant themes were the ones of morality and integrity, as well as the discussion of race. For example, the cop and the way the vigilante hooded justice was created, the questions the show asks about who you are and what are you and what can you do in an ever-changing environment that seems to be splitting people apart and growing more hostile every day. These are questions more potent today than ever, and unfortunately, after everything we've all been through, we're still trying to figure those answers out, such as how to love, how to care, and how to feel. It's all there. I'm not saying the show answers these questions, but it does do its best to express these questions and isn't afraid to tackle even harder ones. So that has been our review. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you thought of the medium that we discussed down below in the comments. I'd love to hear them, and I will do my best to respond to all that. Do comment, and thank you so much for watching. And also check out my other content, one of them being my gaming channel under Praise K3000, just regularly. And also subscribe to this channel if you like what you saw. Thank you. Bye.